the fact of your existence is you're very expensive. A billionaire. Well, look, if, if I said tomorrow I invent the thing, whatever, the graviton chain reaction bomb, all we have to do is hit a button and the planet Earth blows into a zillion little pieces in less than a millisecond. In less than one millionth of a second, the entire thing is particulated, all right? Now, we're not pressing the button. We put a little cage over the button so nobody can press the damn button. And um, then we have to assess. Well, now we've decided that we're going to force everything to live. We've made the decision. We're saying we have the, the ability that it not live. And, and not making a decision often is the same thing as making a decision. The argument is about imposition, okay? Look, an anti-natalist argument has been made, okay? The fail-safe is you don't screw with this thing, all right? It's dangerous. And the fail-safe is absolutely no harm is done by not having consciousness. Mars is perfectly not crying. It's not in pain. It's not suffering. The only time there's an initiative to get in your ambulance or get in your fire truck and go rescue something is if there's something in danger. Well, there's nothing in danger. There's no harm being done. There's no growling stomach. There's absolutely no rational initiative that needs to be done here. Everything is fine in the rest of the universe where no sentience exists. We don't feel any compulsion to rush out there and place a little sentient creature in the storms of Saturn. There's nothing compelling us to do that because there's no rational initiative. There's no rational cause to be served by such a stupid act. Nothing can be accomplished by doing it. Nothing. And the very same equation applies to our existence. That's argument one. That is the, the math argument, the Benetarian simple argument, that there's nothing to be gained. Your fail-safe is leave it the frig alone. You only open the door to harm, deprivation, need, want, desire, and horrible pain by opening this door. The second argument is it's an imposition, you idiot. You initiate it. You give birth to it. You create it. You you play friggin' God, and then you assume that the thing you create is gonna be as dumb as you, it's gonna be as hungry as you, it's one gonna wanna eat dirty diapers. All right? That, that's the literal truth here, is that you pigs wallow in this fucking cesspool of harm, suffering, grotesque idiocy, and then you expect other intelligent beasts to show up and say, oh yeah, that makes sense. No, from my perspective, you're drooling motherfucking aliens on planet shit fuckier, okay? And uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want my worst enemy to live your fucking disgusting insectoid life.